Humans need nutrients throughout all stages of life, vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids, most of which can only be obtained from animal foods. These nutrients are even more critical during developmental stages of life, especially in the initial conception, during pregnancy, early childhood, and teenage years. It is only in our adult stages of life, after development, in which we can tolerate stages of starvation, and that's more so in men, as women are meant to bear children and store nutrients to bear those children. For some reason, vegans decide to replicate this starvation by following a diet devoid of animal products, whereas normally, this starvation would only be met in times of famine. High Carb Hannah is a vegan that is clearly having fertility issues due to the lack of animal nutrition in her diet. It's been years now that she's been trying to have a baby, yet thinks going raw vegan for 30 days will allow her to get pregnant. What does she think is going to happen? Is there something bad in her body that she needs to detox in order to get pregnant? The candida demon she is fueling all day with sugar isn't exactly going to get detoxed when she goes raw. Let's take a look at her day of eating. Gotta get our green glyphosate smoothie in the morning. The chia seed pudding resembling bird poop, very fitting considering birds are the only animals that should be eating chia seeds. More fruit, more carbs, high water foods, no B vitamins, no fat soluble vitamins. Copious seasoning. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys saw on my Instagram, I wanted to do like a 30 day they all have cats. challenge. And just eat the cat food, you'll the, be healthier. The percentage of people that were like, do it was like 50 50. And most people were like, you're not gonna the make cats it. Cats looking you're for meat. Hate it, whatever. So a while back, I gave not gonna up find anybody. again for the last time. My doctor that is doing like me and Derek's fertility stuff was like, you cannot drink any caffeine whatsoever. And you definitely cannot drink alcohol. So I... I bet you this doctor also recommended she starts incorporating animal foods into her diet, but she's not going to mention that one. Gave it up like a, a week ago, totally like got off the chai tea and all the stuff that I was drinking. And once I cleaned that up and then quit drinking alcohol, I really just felt like, like every detox part of me was like detox going because detox. I went through this major Say detox. It. I had yes. the worst <laughs> headaches ever for probably four days, and I slept non like I was sleeping all the time. I was so lethargic. And is it really detox? Is it caffeine withdrawal? Caffeine or has like wanted to get off caffeine called caffeine blues that goes over a lot of the really scary stuff about caffeine that I never even really knew about. Like in my lean and clean plan, I tell people to get off caffeine because it really affects your insulin and it can really affect weight loss. But there's so much other stuff that is really scary about caffeine. Um, so. Caffeine is very bad for women in particular. It completely ruins your endocrine system, adrenal hormones, messes up a lot of processes in the body, including insulin. But these vegans are always trying to isolate something in the vegan diet, as opposed to looking at the vegan diet itself as the problem. Whatever they say, it always denies that there can be a problem with the vegan diet. So oh, highly recommend reading that book. I wasn't drinking like tons of caffeine or tons of alcohol. It was just like a very moderate amount. No, any, there is no like, moderate healthy, amount of caffeine or what alcohol. What any doctor would probably be like, yeah, that's a healthy amount. Um, but coming off of these substances and learning, How, how's really listening about to your doctor working, lady? Massive toxic effects on the body. Toxic. I cannot detox. I cannot even explain the withdrawal and the detox that I went through. I wish I would have filmed some of it, but I didn't, and. Yeah, so basically, I am just Detoxing trying to get my into brain the cells. healthiest possible shape I can get into because we are going to try and get pregnant in like October and I really, really want to be extremely healthy. I just want to say for the record, I'm not going to be 100% raw vegan. I'm not going to be a raw vegan. It's not gonna happen. And I would rather just try to eat as much raw food or maybe have like many raw food days or I don't know, even like a week of raw food. I've actually been eating raw for the last, this will be the fourth consecutive day that I've eaten 100% raw foods. 
and that is solely because I just am really enjoying it and I really feel freaking fantastic. I feel like my skin looks amazing. I feel like my teeth are becoming whiter. I feel like my eyes are becoming whiter. Like I sleep like a rock. I just have so much energy to run and to do things. I feel so much more like loving. Well, young lady, no offense, but you're gonna give birth to a rock if you try to get pregnant on a vegan diet. And there's this mysticism created around raw foods, raw veganism, like it's so much better than cooked veganism. Just like the raw tards think eating raw meat is so much better than eating cooked meat. Yes, eating cooked food does stress your body's enzymes, and as most people have eaten primarily cooked food their entire lives, the body's enzymes have been stressed, and going raw can be beneficial for a period of time. But every group of human beings has consumed raw, cooked, and fermented foods. One is not necessarily better than the other, and these people, again, create mysticism, like fantasizing about a raw diet without actually explaining why it could be beneficial. ...and positive and not stressed out, but that's just how I feel. Maybe that's just coming off of caffeine. I have no idea. But I just or the sugar high? Somewhere, like, I am not going to be a raw vegan. I do not think cooked foods are toxic. I do not think potatoes and steamed vegetables are bad for you. But I realize I barely eat any raw food. And I watched this raw food documentary called Average Joe on the Raw, and it's about this guy that's just like an average Joe. And he was scripted doing propaganda like a film raw challenge, and it was really inspiring because it was down just to like earth. the game changers it was like a this, documentary. This really hardcore, like you have to be a hundred percent raw vegan, and yada yada yada, all this stuff. So you are probably going to be seeing a lot of raw food, a lot of just full raw vegan days in the vegans <laughs> in like it raw. The, coming videos and coming months and all of that because I am just really freaking loving it. Like I'm really loving having banana ice cream every day and green juice and huge green smoothies and berry smoothies and like a massive salad at night. Like I just- Sounds like a lot of oxalates. The thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Oxalates are an anti-nutrient that can accumulate in various tissues in the body. Oxalate detox in general is something that's overstated a bit when transitioning to a carnivore diet, but that initial removal of large amounts of plant foods from your diet, especially the greens, the kale shakes, that type of stuff, can result in oxalates detoxing through your skin, causing rashes, something that typically only happens for a week or two and then it's over with. It's not something you're going to see after being on a diet for months at a time. The last thing I'm going to say, sorry for the super long intro. The thing that I really like about doing this so far is that it is so simple. Like it is so incredibly simple to just eat fruit. When you live in a first world country and have a and supermarket. It's like it is, it doesn't have to be complicated. Like it's so easy to make juice and it's so easy to make with a, a $400 Vitamix. So just pick up with like a $400 five, six, Vitamix. 10 dates and cut up some with your boyfriend's paycheck. That. I love the fact that it's very easy. So, um, that's some slave picks for you. A little weight loss update. It has been seven weeks that I've been on the get fit with me challenge, <laughs> whatever we're going to call it since I've been making these videos and I've lost 7.8 pounds. So I don't think that that's bad. I think that's great. Um, I really always suggest people lose about half a pound to a pound per week. I did have a two week long plateau where my weight went up a pound, up another pound, down a pound, and it was just kind of like not doing anything, staying at the same exact weight. And then, yeah, this morning I weighed myself and I was down 1.2 pounds. So that's how plateaus work, they suck. They make you think that you are doing everything wrong. So yeah, that's my little 10 minute intro rant. Plateau is something that a lot of people artificially create to justify you sticking to their regime. Same thing with a lot of bodybuilding and fitness routines. They say you're plateauing and to stick with what you're doing, usually just trying to sell you a product. If you are plateauing with something, switch things up, try a different diet. Don't keep you know, trying to knock down the brick wall with your bare hands. It's not gonna work. Walk around the wall. Sorry, sorry about that. Um... <laughs> Today's gonna be a long video, 
but um, I just woke up and I'm literally just wearing this because I am sweating. But yeah, so this morning I am going to make some green juice. I actually just had my dandy blend, which is a coffee alternative that I have um, that I'll show you guys in my next video because I already had it. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram at High Carb. This is something that really needs to be emphasized that these young women who are genetically gifted that have, you know, good looking bodies appeal to younger women who want the same thing. And these younger women don't realize that a vegan diet isn't going to get them that body. If anything, it's only going to deteriorate their health even further. This is so horrible with Victoria's Secret models following vegan diets. I can't imagine how many millions of young girls' lives are being compromised because of this vegan plant propaganda. Hannah, because I post a ton of my meals and things that I'm making and recipes and stuff like that on there. So if I you miss me on here, just go check me out on there. And um, yeah, let's stop talking. Are you half naked on there and too, let's make young lady? Some green juice. Make some green juice, and then I'm gonna go walk the dogs, and then I'm gonna go for my run. Can you show so us in you my feeding the dogs meat? Green juice. I like to use an entire cucumber. I have these carrots that I always buy. Whenever I buy carrots at the store, I buy them with the tops on because I just take them off and then I just throw them in juice and they're just like another source of greens. So I'm gonna use one of these carrot tops. Then I'm also going to use four or five stalks of organic celery. Celery, celery, celery. Celery. I'm gonna use one lemon and then I've been alternating the kale from my garden and just baby spinach because I my kale I just can't use too much of it or else it won't grow back. So I just cut off little pieces of it. Your thyroid won't grow back, back either. I'm use a ton of spinach. With all the goitrogens and kale. Here, and then the half one half of an apple and some ginger and also some parsley if you ever make green juice you always want to add in some type of an herb like celery or parse like celery like cilantro or parsley because it, it's a really good detoxifier and it just like pulls stuff out of your body Are these smoothies a problem? Absolutely. Is eating plant foods in the context of a normal balanced diet a problem? No, but this is the amount of fruits and vegetables that you would eat throughout an entire day. It's juiced into a concentrated form and you're dousing your digestive system in those oxalates, in those phytates, which again, aren't a problem if you're eating animal foods to get other adequate nutrition. These plant foods primarily have, you know, potassium, certain electrolyte minerals to offer, caloric energy, hydration, but actual B vitamin value, fat soluble vitamin value, it's not there. If you're not giving your body a source of energy, which this green shake isn't really, the amount of carbohydrates is minimal, what are you giving your body? Your body needs fat to even absorb vitamins if you're one of those people that can efficiently convert plant vitamins. There's no circumstance where you would drink a shake like this. If you were to just blend up some fruit and drink it for sugar, for energy, that makes more sense. In, you know, it, it's sad to say that, you know, a glass of orange juice is healthier than the shake because you're actually giving your body something it needs. We got to play happy music. Like, it's so sad what this person's doing, like starving themselves, putting $15 worth of vegetables into a blender, but you play happy music and it's all okay. Not to mention the amount of pesticides, agrochemicals, herbicides, fungicides that are in this if everything is not organic. And organic can only reduce them so much. But you drink this every morning with conventional fruits and vegetables. And I would argue that 
those pesticides are more of an issue than any of the anti-nutrients we just mentioned. It's something that's commonly overlooked. And vegans might even tell you that, oh, well, the legal amount of pesticides, it's safe. Absolutely not. Drinking that much glyphosate every morning is poisoning your body. All right. <laughs> Gotta watch, we gotta watch that again. Look at look at her grimace. Watch her grimace as she takes a sip, but then forces a smile. All right, so we just got back from walking the dogs, and I went for my run, which is just the couch to find. What'd you feed the dogs, still? young lady? I actually went backwards. A, a nice bit juicy steak. Because I feel like it moves really quickly and. I was kind of struggling on my 10, 15 minute runs. And I, I never understand this. She has like a Berkey water filter to her right. And, you know, these vegans care about aspects of their health, but they overlook very simple things like not having enough B vitamins, eat some meat, not having enough omega threes, eat some fish. How can you care so much about your health, but overlook such a simple importance of having animal foods in your diet? Like, like I bet you she doesn't drink anything in plastic. But but she's not eating meat. I just didn't want it to be like, I didn't want to be running at the slowest possible pace on those runs. So I just went back a few weeks and did that over again. And then now I'm much faster. So now I can run like, you know, in the 10 minutes in and it'll be like less than a mile. So I'm going to have some chia pudding. And I prepped a ton of food before... I made this video so I will leave all the recipes in the description box for you guys because you're not gonna see me making a lot of stuff other than like my afternoon smoothie and whatnot but this is just chia seeds with frozen mango bird poop. literally looks like the bird shit on my car outside right now syrup and some almond milk for the identical liquid. color seeds in it white had chia yellow pudding. throughout I never had it before I before like a few days ago it is so good some people don't like it my husband hates this stuff to me it tastes like tapioca pudding and i really like tapioca pudding so i like it so i changed my clothes once again um <laughs> this is because i got some stuff on my shirt and i'm gonna make a smoothie for lunch i don't even know what time is it it's like two o'clock right now and basically I'm just gonna put some frozen mango frozen pineapple and spinach in there and that's gonna be it so she is doing the sugar for energy thing but why put spinach in it to ruin it if vegans actually understood nutrient profile, what things they needed to supplement. If there wasn't such a lack of clarity on nutrient bioavailability, they might actually be much healthier, picking the right foods, taking the right supplements, not you know drinking down slop spinach every three hours that's inhibiting their mineral absorption. This is, this is ride number two in the blender. Ride number two. I also added a little bit of vanilla almond milk in here because it was having some trouble blending. I recently actually just found this stuff at um, it's not raw. Whole Foods. And it's like a cold pressed almond not raw. milk it's not that raw. doesn't have any gums or like soy, sunflower lecithin. It's just filtered water, almonds, natural vanilla. What was that bottle like? $15? It's kind of expensive. I am going to start <laughs> making my own almond milk. Thought so. It's really easy to do, so I'll probably do that in the next. Yeah, video God, God forbid you, guys, you buy some milk from a local farm. My smoothie. Like, look at how. We have to go out to. We have to go out to California. We have to harvest a bushel of almonds. Got to grind them up, make them into some liquid resembling milk because apparently it's better for the environment. It's just health in a jar. It's glyphosate in a jar, and I think half your brain is composed of glyphosate at this point. That's why you've lost, I guess, any any semblance of intelligence whatsoever at this point. I also have a little bit more in here. Green so. alien drink equals I'll health. This. I'll finish the rest of that off, but this is so good. 
the almond milk gives it such a good flavor. And I also like to add a little bit of stevia. I mean, when you starve yourself for three years, see. anything starts tasting um, good, right? It's just this, it's just this stevia. I just add this because it makes it a little bit sweeter without having to add like- This is crazy. She, she, she puts pineapple, she puts sweet tropical fruit in a smoothie and needs to add stevia to sweeten it and almond vanilla to flavor it. it it's, it's absurd. Sugar, not that I'm against sugar or maple syrup or anything. Wasn't she talking about insulin resistance earlier? Sometimes fruit just isn't sweet enough, honestly. So I'm actually kind of hungry and I'm gonna eat some veggies. These are some like raw crackers. But that's that bird I get from food. This lady at the farmers market. If anybody is no, it's bird son, food. This lady. She was selling it for you to feed to the birds outside your house. That sells these, Not like, for you to eat. Amazing raw crackers that I always buy every week, even like before. And I was you should be feeding them to, to the birds. Whatever. Um, and then I just have some tomatoes, some celery, carrots. And I'm just gonna eat this as a little snack before dinner. So yeah, all that's in here is sprouted almonds, broccoli, carrot, onion, golden flax seeds, tamari, black pepper, and mineral salt. These are so good. All right, so for dinner tonight, I'm just gonna make a big salad. That's what I've been having the last three days. I guarantee and you that used to be a bird food company, and then they realized the vegans would eat it. That I always make, honestly. Like we always put this on, um, just like tortillas or rice and beans and this is basically just walnuts with carrots onions sun-dried tomatoes and some seasonings like chili powder cumin salt i'll put the recipe down below so i'm gonna eat the rest of that and then i have some cashew sour cream that i made that my cat was just licking out of this jar God. <laughs> cashew sour cream that is from my let's get saucy book it is my $10. This book should be named Let's Get Omega-6 because all of these vegans using these recipes with all the nuts, seeds, linoleic acid dominant foods want a straight trip to the emergency room. This linoleic acid is what their cholesterol becomes composed of. It's inflammatory in unnaturally high amounts. I guarantee you as this vegan movement gets more and more popular, we're gonna see younger people having heart issues from the crazy amount of omega seed oils. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be having heart attacks in their early 30s and early 40s. Vegan sauce book that has over 55 vegan recipes if you wanna get it. Sorry, the rice cooker is going in the back because I just made some rice for Derek. But basically in there it's just cashews, apple cider vinegar, and some lemon juice and stuff. And then I have some leftover pico. I'm also just gonna add some What do you need, 20 different foods to make it taste good? Greens, so I have to go get some greens from my garden. And yeah, that's gonna be my dinner, like a taco salad, basically. Harvest the entire garden to make it palatable? Like a, a vegan makes a sandwich with like lettuce, tomato, and 30 other things to make it taste good, or you could just put some bacon on it. I hope she's buying everything organic because veganism is the best way to poison yourself with agrochemicals. I guess outside of a carnivore feedlot beef diet, that's a pretty good way too. Except as a carnivore, you're not spending like the entire day cooking and pooping yourself. That's that's the main benefit. That's definitely enough omega-6 to kill a rat. Hey man, I get it. I, I can get into this with that music. I see how these, ve you know, you, you watch enough of these happy vegan videos with this nice music playing. And you're like, oh man, let me try this. I'm feeling it, man. I bet you if I watch this three or four more times, I might go make a cashew salad myself. Well, you could say it's unfortunate that young women like this get roped into veganism and they never find their way out. The other part of it is the special interest funding. You know, what if she's been paid to do this the whole time? She's trying to sell books, sponsorships, challenges, whatever it may be. So initially she could have gone vegan because it really was for the animals. But as time goes on, it becomes her identity, her personality. She makes a living off of it. And then 
her own well-being, her own money, what she's built up becomes compromised when her health starts deteriorating. But she continues to mislead young women, sell them these products, sell them these programs when she is having issues herself. Hopefully this becomes more exposed, especially the pesticides, the agrochemicals, that aspect in both the vegan and the carnivore diets. The point is all of these people are in control of the food supply. They're influencing you so they can make money, so their overlords can make money, and you will never find your true health. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, definitely hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet down below, as well as Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Naturals. Go to frank com for a free carnivore diet meal plan when you sign up. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.